Good day, folks. Welcome back to another time video. Um, kind of getting to be that time of year where the uh, menu or uh, for fish is growing. Uh, lots more bugs hatching uh, this time of year, and uh, we've started to see a few caddis come off. Um, so we thought we'd put together a little uh, mini series here. Uh, we're going to do three videos, um, just kind of covering uh, the three different. Uh, types of caddis patterns you can fish. I mean, there's a ton of different patterns out there, but um, we're gonna do a caddis larva pattern, a caddis pupa pattern, and then uh, an adult caddis as well. So this first one here is going to be the uh, larval stage, and uh, this pattern is kind of a variation on the shark's caddis. Um, basically the same outcome, I tie it a little bit differently. Um, but it's quite similar, um, just simplify the tie a little bit. Um, so I've got a uh, pro tire um, check nymph hook in the vise, and um, from that's from Canadian Lama, and then I've got a gold um, bead up top. Um, tie this fly anywhere from a like a 10 down to an 18, um, and uh, it's super easy to tie even in the smaller sizes so um, we'll go ahead and get started here what I've got for this is just some um, uni stretch and the color isn't super important because it's basically going to be covered up when we're done this is a light olive uni stretch that I'm using but it uh, as I say it doesn't really matter too much the color that you go with so I'm just going to build up kind of a plump little body here. These um, caddis are not exactly slim little bugs, so you just build up this uh, back end a little bit. Give the fly a nice shape. See that start to come together there. That looks pretty good. So quick and easy using the uh, uni stretch. I'll go ahead and just disengage that and attach some tan colored UTC thread. Now when you do this, you want to grab a nice long tag when you tie in and just leave that tag wrap it all the way back and we'll just leave it sticking out the back of the fly for now and then I just try to keep this body fairly smooth so we'll just set that tag off to the back um, now there's a couple different options for this next step um, yellow or cream colored antron works well I mean, obviously, depending on the, the color of fly you want, you could use other colors as well. Um, unfortunately, I'm out of the, uh, the Antron, but what I found is this uh, Parapost material. It's almost identical to Antron, and um, just comes in little strips like this, and uh, it works very well for this pattern. So for the bigger sizes, I'll use two of them and put them together. Um, for if you're using Antron on a bigger size, just take two strips of it and and uh, put them together to to get the thickness that you need. This is eventually going to form the segmentation of our body, so you want it to be somewhat thick, but not crazy. So we'll tie this in. I like to just tie it down the full length of the hook. Keeps my body shape nice and even. Kind of leave your thread at that three-quarter point and then what I like to do is just really twist it every time I make a wrap I'm um, twisting this material in my fingers and I'm just going to leave small little gaps in between each wrap it's almost like you're ribbing it but really you're just Trying to leave some pronounced 
segmentation there. Line this up almost to the top here. Pretty good there. And you can just tie off that Zantron or pair of post. <clears throat> okay. Now our next step is to grab some laser dub. This is a tan Senyo's laser dub. Works really well. It's a super fine longer fiber dubbing. So it works really really well for what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and dub a fairly slender noodle. Don't need a ton of material here. And what we're going to do is just uh, kind of wrap This dubbing in between the <clears throat> excuse me in between the gaps that we left. Um, so we'll just go ahead and wrap this. wraps right at the bottom. Oh, this is fighting me a little bit here, so there's my hackle pliers. There they are. So hackle pliers obviously help with this step, so I'm going to just attach these here. Slide that dubbing back up. And now we can go ahead and wrap this. So, as I say, get her started once you get into the first gap, just like so. It's uh, pretty easy going from there. Just follow your little gaps. Just like so. in that dubbing if you have to. Up top we'll just give two wraps to fill that one in. And then we can tie off our thread here. Make sure that's nice and secure. Trim out our excess. Okay. Now, I've got some, you can use the original calls for some peacock curl here. Um, so, you know, feel free to use a couple strands of the peacock curl. I've got this uh, chocolate brown ice dub that I like to use with this. And um, so again, just a short little noodle to wrap a collar behind this bead here <clears throat> and go ahead and wrap this just like so and come in with your whip finisher Just give a couple turns right in behind that bead there if you keep a nice gap behind the bead your thread wraps will sink right in there and make for a pretty durable pattern okay last step is just to come in with a dubbing brush velcro and just tease out 
some of that uh, dubbing that we wrapped around the body. There we go. Now you can sweep everything back and give it a little trim at the end here. But that looks looks pretty good. And then what I'll do is I'll actually just uh, get this thing wet because that's when it really comes to life. So <clears throat> let me just uh, let me tackle pliers again. And we'll uh, dip this in some water. have it so <clears throat> there's the uh, neat little caddis pattern as I said it's uh, once it gets wet like that you can see how realistic it looks it is a fairly simple tie for something that's uh, so realistic but just that little kind of cape of dubbing fibers uh, gives it a really really neat look and uh, the segmentation still pokes through so pretty neat little pattern um that's my take on the shark's caddis larva hope you uh enjoyed that one and uh give us a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't and until the next one cheers and tight lines